this is the Neri and I am here for the first haul video of uh, 2023 and this is going to be for a uh, Poka Market. It's a store that I decided that I was going to try out um, as I was watching uh, haul videos for other YouTubers and one of them had something for Poka Market and so uh, what they explained about it uh, sounded interesting and I decided that I was gonna you know give it a go um, basically Poke Market I believe they you know I know they are actually located in Korea and they just sell photo cards um, for K-pop um, and that's that is their entire business is selling K-pop photo cards <laughs> um, so, but some of the cards are really cheap prices. Um, they do have a lot of like fees that kind of bring things up, but even then for a lot of it, it kind of breaks even or is still even cheaper than what you would find in like Makari or Rakuma. So I decided to give it a go. One of the things though is that, um, you can't buy like cards and sets they're all individual and when you put together a package to send out they will only send 20 cards at a time um, since I was trying it out I come up to my 20 and I was just curious if you know something would pop up if they would like let you know that you know hey you've gone over and now you have 21 so you're gonna start a new one it does not. <laughs> you really have to make sure that you're paying attention and counting to know uh, how many cards you have. So I ended up just getting another 20. So between these two, I have 40 cards. Um, and then I really lucked out that they happened to have a sale for uh, shipping. So I took advantage of that and that's why I have both of them here because I was just gonna get the one and wait later to get the other because shipping without the discount was like 40 bucks but 40 bucks each basically and then for yeah for the uh, oh why are words just failing me now the discount that they gave for their promotion um, they took like $15 off for like shipping which is like yes <laughs> I will totally take advantage of that and like I said I just went ahead and got them both because I'm not sure if they do that often or not but I wanted to make sure I got these and so I'm going to open this up you can probably kind of hear the cards because they put them in a case that they bubble wrap. Yes. So there is one set. And we will get to, I think that was the second one actually. I think this is the first one. So let's open this. Yes. Okay, just a little thank you card from Poka Market. And so they don't have like the greatest mm, variety since everything is sorted by group um, like I and most of it is like the more popular groups so if you know you're looking for a card for a much less popular group you're not gonna find it uh, most likely um, 
but it's their site very easy to navigate um, and what they do have uh, if you're like me and you collect a lot of popular groups like NCT you're actually gonna do pretty well um, so I got some Heichan because I'm both collecting I'm collecting Heichan for both uh, Dream and 127 but not extensively but selectively so I got some cards for that I needed to get this Runjin so got that and of course another Runjin one of his glitch mode I think this is the scratch version if I remember right yes and I got the two uh, CT Renaissance Ren Resonance part two uh, IDs I needed. This is the uh, Xiao Jun uh, departure one. And I needed the Mark Agent card for Hello Future. At least I'm pretty sure I do. And Yuta, since I'm now going to be extensively collecting him, got one of his sticker cards. And Taeyong, he. Other NCT member I am collecting for at least the ID card, so got his set. And new jeans. I got the blue book versions for Haven and Honey. I actually that may not be her blue book version. I can't remember. Which one it is because I also got the uh, the Weavers uh, cards for Honey that I needed, so I have her completed for their first release. Actually, I think this might be the Blue Book version, and I got this. Chewy for Eyes Wide Open. And I know this, this is like the only uh, pop I'm missing for uh, Feel Specials of uh, the three that I collect. So very happy to find that. And they happen to have this Kazuha. So I have another Fearless uh, card. Oh yes, and I was able to get Gijin from Nmix and this is one of her the light version um, and this is probably the most expensive card that I got because even then though with everything it probably came up cheaper getting it from Poke Market than from like Makari or Rakuma so and that with that one I am done with Thursday's Child for TXT, which is really exciting. And for this, we got another little thank you card. And I've kind of changed my mind how I'm collecting uh, in Hypen. Uh, even though I'm expanding the collection, I do not need this one, but that's okay. I'm pretty sure I can find either a sale or trade for J there. And Jisung because I am, he is another one of the dream members that I am selectively collecting with Heichan. So got some cards for him for that. And Chongla is the third for that. So I'm selecting, selectively collecting Chongla, Jisung, and Heichan, fully collecting Runjin. So made some progress here with those collections because they have a lot of NCT. So that is like one group that if you're looking for cards and you may want to, and they do have some pretty good deals on what they have. So Poke Market would be the next place to check it out. So lots more Tanla. Oh, and now we have some heat on.
but yeah so I will definitely keep using them um, though I think I've gotten just about everything that I feel is kind of worth it uh, though I'll probably just kind of keep my eye on them and uh, what they come in because it is constantly being like updated um, and of course I am collecting the full OT7 set for the lenticulars for a uh, glitch mode so this is going to be our Pokemon market's going to help a lot with that I feel I was able to get the Korean version of Card. Oh, and of course the favorite that card that I need for Utah now that I'm fully collecting uh, I was able to find this Lino for a pretty good price so I picked it up oh and keep this for one of my OT9 collections for twice yeah kind of disappointed they didn't have like a really big uh, collection for twice but very happy with what they had i needed this jihyo so now i have her and i felt bad that i didn't have like anything for summer nights or very little for summer nights for mina so i went ahead and grabbed one of the cards they had and then shayong for eyes wide open for the OT9 set I'm doing and yeah that is that that is all 40 cards honestly I'm very happy this really helps with a lot of progress with my collections especially on CT um, and again for for new jeans that's actually really nice to have honey completely done um, I'll probably go back and finish getting the rest for Hayden um, maybe we'll see um and yeah like i said i've just i've already begun like my next 20 but again i'm definitely taking my time just waiting to see what pops up and if i need it and if i do just picking it up um as i go and this is just a nice little resource to have uh other than you know having to scour makari in Rakuma trying to find the cards I need um, but yeah definitely want to want to look at the prices they have here for uh, Poke Market and also what you can get from uh, Makari and Rakuma uh, just to compare because sometimes you know you are gonna find a really good deal and other times it may actually be cheaper to go with Makari instead um, so it's kind of a mixed bag but it's definitely enough that it's going to be on my resource list for collecting cards um, and again like uh, like I said the website very easy to use um, which I appreciate and uh, they did a pretty good job with you know speed for getting out here um, overall so far I've had just a really good experience using them um, the only thing again downside is, is that you have to buy you know each card individually there are fees uh, pretty much attached to just about everything you do um, so you do have to uh, pay attention to those though they can kind of balance themselves out if you know you're paying attention um, and again not the widest selection but if you're like me and most of the groups that you follow are kind of the bigger more popular groups you're probably going to be able to find something that you need so probably best is to wait until you have or like me if you just have a lot of cards that you need to get you know use that as a resource to try to get some of them on the cheap to just help yourself out so with that all said I'll just go ahead and wrap up because um, yeah 
because that's all I really have to say. Um, let's see. So now that Poker Market is all completed here, uh, I should have a Neokyo and a Bai uh, hauls or orders going to be coming in later this month. And of course, at the end of the month, there's going to be TXD's latest uh, album, which I'm definitely getting um, an unboxing. And of course, they've announced yet another version <laughs> because what is a hype release without like a billion different versions to uh, to purchase? Um, <laughs> though I complain, but I'm uh, I will still buy. So I I am a part of the problem. Um, but yeah, those are pretty much my plans for uh, the rest of the month. Um, and probably, and of course, uh, I'm back to trading again, so I might have another like extra haul, which is just going over everything I've traded or not everything I've traded, but everything I've gotten from trades and any purchases I've made, um, near the end of the month, because that's probably when I'll do my next storing video, um, which already is set to be pretty massive. So I will stop rambling then um, and just go over the usual. Uh, I do appreciate any comments and the likes that I get. Uh, and if you're interested in any of the uh, things that I've kind of discussed about what's coming up, please uh, subscribe so that way you don't miss anything. And until next time, bye.